Today we'll be creating this retro style text animation. Hey, welcome back to my new video. This is GFX Farm. And if you want to learn how to make your own videos and animation, consider subscribing and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss anything. So let's get started with today's tutorial. I'm going to create a new text. Retro. And scale it up way up like this and align to the middle like that and I'm going to pre-compose this text so control shift and C and rename it to title okay so I have the text now I'm gonna go to the effects and presets and type in drop shadow and drop shadow I'm gonna drop that on here and change the color to whatever color you like opacity to 100 and distance to maybe around 20 like that or this is too yes that will do fine okay now let's work on with the next one that is creating the upper text here i'm going to type in introducing and change the font to okay let's make it small and this spacing something like this and go down to the align and put it to the center like that okay selecting on the introducing text I'm gonna grab this ellipse tool and I'm going to draw a mask and you know try to center it somewhere here like that and go down to the text here path options and select the mask one in that way you have this so go down a little bit further here and you can reverse that path and first merging just adjust that so that it's right there in the middle all right let's go and create the background for this text so i'm gonna grab a pen tool and i don't want a fill and i want a stroke to be exactly the same like this color so i'm gonna pick that okay and let's keep the stroke for two now and Make sure you don't select any layer here. And just zoom in and click somewhere here and click and click it somewhere here again. And you just have to hold down the mouse. Don't release the mouse yet. So something like that. All right, let's put this layer just below the text. And I'm going to scale this stroke up so that it covers the entire text simple as that so let's work on the animation right away here i'm gonna add a trim path here just click on this little icon here icon here and just add a trim path where is it trim path okay let's collapse that trim path i'm gonna animate this so at one second set this end keyframe and go back to the first keyframe and zero that select both the keyframes right click keyframe assistant and easy ease and go here in the graph editor and make sure you are in a speed graph so i've mentioned that in all of my tutorials so okay that is the text all right let's work on the text animation here let's work on the text animation here so at one second i'm gonna set this first merging at keyframe and go back to the first one and move it here so it comes like that and same thing right click keyframe assistant easy is go to the graph once again and make that like that and since we have that we have to mask this portion out so that's very easy to do i'm going to duplicate the shape layer that we have created by hitting ctrl d and just place that above the text and you can select on the text and change this track mat to alpha mat all right you have that it's very simple very easy so i'm gonna select all of the three three layers and i'm gonna pre-compose this Control shift and c and rename it intro okay so since we have that Let's work on the next one, which is the below text and this animation. So I'm going to go inside this title animation and I'm going to 
animate this. So I'm gonna pick the pen tool and selecting on the text, zoom in and you have to just draw a mask. So I'm gonna draw it like this. You don't need to be perfectly smooth here. I just want a jaggy lines so that the text reveals. So it's not very, the font that we're using here is not very ideal for using, you know, this kind of write on text reveal. Make sure if you want a smooth text reveal, you use a joined, you know, handwritten style fonts here. I'm not using that because I don't want a very smooth animation here. I just want jaggy lines and, you know, I don't want it to be smooth. I, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna just draw a ref mask so that it covers everything here. So we've done that. You just make sure you take some time in doing this. If you want it to be smooth, the more time you invest in this mask, the more smooth, you know, text reveal you have. So I'm going to go to the effects and presets and type in stroke and here generate stroke. I'm gonna drop that here and reveal on image and you know, set the brush, increase the brush size and I'm gonna animate this. Okay, so at two seconds, I'm going to set it to 100%. Set a keyframe, go back to the first and zero that out. Hit U to bring up the keyframes and right click keyframe assistant, easy is, and you have this animation. So make sure you, if the edges are, are not smooth, you can always bump up this stroke like this okay and i want this brush hardness to to be 100 percent and if it's 100 percent maybe you might want to lower this down a little bit so that you have a little bit of smoothness in the animation so you have you you you, you take some time in you know doing playing with these stroke settings and drawing the mask around the text so the more you Spend time, the more smooth text animation you have. So I think you understand what I mean here. So let's go back to the retro touch layer. Sorry, comp here. So we have this. Okay, let's keep it like that. Let's move on to the next one, which is creating this, the bottom text here. So I'm gonna grab this rounded rectangle tool. I don't want a stroke. I just want the fill color. So I'm gonna pick the same color like this and here we have it I don't bother about the size here if you hold down your mouse and you know hit the up and down arrow keys you have this rounded and you know you can just change the roundness of your rectangle tool here so I'm gonna keep it like this and I'm going to grab a text and write a for after effects so let's size it up and let's just keep it in the middle here. Maybe that's too big. All right, that's fine. So I'm gonna collapse this rectangle and transform rectangle. And I'm going to change this anchor point or by hitting Y on the keyboard and grab this. And if you hold down control, you will snap it here. So, so unlock this scale at right, one second. I'll set a keyframe and go back to the first and the Y axis to zero. Select both the keyframes, right click keyframe assistant, easy, is or F9, graph editor again. So like this. So you have the animation and I'm gonna animate the text position of this text as well. Hit P to bring up the position, set a keyframe there at one second. Go back to the first frame and move it down. Guys, if I'm a little bit fast, you can always pause the video and, you know, follow along with me. Otherwise, this tutorial will be too long. So, in order to make it fast, I'm talking fast. So, select both the keyframes, right-click keyframe assistant and easy ease and you have that. Go to the graph editor once again, like that. Alright. So, like we did 
with this, I'm going to duplicate the layer here, put it just above the AE text and track matte to alpha matte shape layer 2. So you have that. So I'm gonna pre-compose this again, selecting on all of the three layers, Control shift and C and rename it to AE. And maybe you can go inside this and you can crop this. So I'm gonna grab this tool, sorry, this tool. I'm gonna draw like this, go to the composition and crop comp to a region of interest and that way you have a smaller version of that which is really handy and very easy to re reposition and scale and that kind of thing. All right, let's put it here right in the middle and maybe you wanna scale it down. And you know, just put it somewhere here and you can offset the timing. What comes here, go and... All right, let's go and create another one, which is vintage style and you know I'm gonna change the font to this all the fonts will be there in the project file make sure you go and download it from my website gfxfarm.com all right let's put it somewhere here all right let's grab this rounded rectangle tool once again and just draw a box somewhere here Maybe that's too round. Yes. Like that and just put put it below the vintage text there. Maybe you want you might want this to be bold. Okay. Let's center this. Alright. The same concept goes with this one again. Go to the transform rectangle and I'm gonna change the anchor point by hitting Y or grabbing that tool and unlock this scale, go to one second, set a keyframe, go back to the first and set it to zero. Right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease, and go to the graph editor again, like this, and you have that, and I'm gonna animate this. Hit P on the keyboard, set a keyframe, go back to the first one, move it down, maybe even a little bit down. Right, let's go and do the easy ease once again. Keyframe assistant and go to the graph and you know tweak that. All right, let's do the same here. I'm going to duplicate this layer, put it just above the text and change this track mat to alpha mat shape layer. All right, you have that and go to select all of these layers and pre-compose it, control shift and C and vintage. Okay, I'm gonna offset the timing here, somewhere here. Let's see here. Comes. Okay, let's add the text here. GFX farm, or you can write whatever you want. And I'm gonna increase the spacing a little bit here. And. No, I think this A layer is not in the middle, so I'm gonna. Set it to the middle there. Same goes with this layer. Okay, let's move it manually here. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna uh, duplicate this layer by hitting Control D and hold down Shift and move this over here and change the text. Tutorial and there you have the text. Okay, just shift it somewhere here, come in there. And I want right from here. I just want this to appear. GFX Farm and Tutorial. All right, I've already made a preset here. You can download this preset that I'm, I'm going to be using in my Patreon page. You can just support, show your support to this channel by contributing, you know, a dollar, one, one dollar in my Patreon account. I would really appreciate that if you do that, you guys. So I'm going to use that. Apply animation preset. And I'm going to use the left scale for this and for this I'm gonna use the right scale all right there you have it so I'm gonna change the anchor point of this go to this anchor point and change it to somewhere here and to the position as well the same like this and go and grab this tutorial text change the anchor point 
to this corner and position to this corner as well so you have that animation very smooth and let's go and create a background layer new solid and PG for background and select any color you like maybe a little bit lighter than this right let's put it just below and there you have the complete animation very smooth very easy very simple that's all i have for this time guys i hope you like this video and if you haven't subscribed to this channel consider subscribing and hit the like button and please give me at least 200 likes this time guys thanks a lot for watching this has been gfx farm and i will see you in my next video